Welcome back. So in my last video, I just finished off the living room, or at least bulk of it. I'm actually quite happy. So I've been posting videos very irregularly now. It's almost bi-weekly, but I'm getting back to the hang of it and I'm going to be posting weekly now again. They're going to be a little bit shorter because there isn't that much that I can edit together and post for each weekly one. So it'll probably be a little bit shorter, but who knows? I'll maybe try something new out, maybe new format. I don't know. Uh, you could hit me up in the comments down. Do you like the time lapse or would you see less of them? What do you want? Because even though it's this channel is mainly thought for my parents but I also want to have my regular views what they think which reminds me could you please hit the subscribe button and like next project is going to be the guest bedroom hallway and the main bedroom I thought I would be able to take it off as part by part but laying off the flooring the parquet is a little bit troublesome because I have to start on the hallway and then move into the main bedroom and then take the guest bedroom. My plan for now is to start moving things out of the guest room, which is also going to be my office, and painting that. After that has been painted, I'm going to be moving my bed into there. So the bed I'm using now is going to be the guest bed. I have a new bed that I haven't put together and that's going to be the main bed. So the project for now is to empty out the guest bedroom, which is also my current storage for uh, tools and so on. So I'll have to move that down to the basement. And I have still IKEA furniture that are the main cabinets for the bedrooms and so on which I'm also going to have to find out a way to store somewhere. I don't know. I'll find out. But yeah, if ho hopefully everything goes well, this should only take a couple of days. So this is the hallway I'm talking about. And here is the guest room slash office that I'm going to convert. It's not a big one. It's two meters by four meters, which is something like seven by 14 feet something like that. I'm bad at conversing feet to meters. I'm not used to the empirical system. So yeah, meters is the way I go about things. But as you can see, my tools are a mess and I have to clean them, clean this out and rearrange them in the basement. So it's going to be easier to find. And here are the rest of the IKEA furniture that hasn't been put together. It's mainly cabinets for clothes and so on. I posted on my Facebook and Instagram that I was gonna be painting this room and ask for people's suggestions. And I got a couple of, of suggestions, but if you would like to follow me on Instagram and see a couple of updates and where I ask people questions about colors and so on, the links are in the description. So please check it out. Let's get cleaning out this room and get it ready for painting. change the plans. I was going to paint this room, but through moving around the furniture, I figured out there's a lot of furniture left. So I decided to hold off with the painting of it. And I decided rather to just move the bed in here and make this my room for now, whilst I finish off the master bedroom. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here still. And if I would be moving it around, it would just get in the way. So yeah. So rather than just doing that, painting it and so on and make more issues for me, I decided to just to hell with it and just decide to focus on the master bedroom for now. As you can see, there's a lot of space in here and it's a bigger chunk of the final project that's gonna get finished. So why not? Now I just have to clean out this room, move the computer into the new room. And I don't think I have space for everything inside the, 
the guest room. So I'll probably just stack the boxes that are here to the sides and I'll show you later. In the middle, and just put a drape over it whilst I paint. I think that's the best idea. So when I paint this room, I can also paint the hallway at the same time. Or maybe I'll paint this room and then paint the, the hallway. But the point is I have to adapt because even though it's a big house, I don't have endless space. And since I, the living room and kitchen is finished, I'll just have to make do. I don't want to put all the stuff in there because yeah, it looks nice and I want to keep it nice. Which brings me over to here. The TV's up. I got help. I got help from a friend who also helped me with the bed. Excuse the mess, but yeah, this is what I've been living with for a couple of months. Now up, cleaning this room. I'll probably paint it in the next video. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my arms give out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open. So I've almost cleaned out the bedroom. Now it's almost ready for paint. So next up is just to put the boxes that are on the sides that have my clothes and so on into the center, get a drape and sand down the room. Previous owner painted it gray. I'm gonna paint it white and then I'll put some color. And I kinda don't know yet what color I'm gonna put. So I'm gonna put a link in the description with what colors are possible from the paint store here. But yeah, put it in the comments what color you would like to see put here. The furniture is mostly gonna be white and black so I think a little bit of color would fit here well. I'm gonna call it quits on this video so remember to subscribe and like if you like the video. Um, here you can see the previous video and here you can see the renovation from the beginning. See ya!